Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 13? 14. Is it 14 already? No. 14. Today's Wednesday. Oh. My Wednesday is the 13th, Thursday is the 14th, Friday is the 15th, Saturday is the 16th. That's when we leave. We leave on the 17th. Oh, yeah. Today's the 14th. 14th. Whoa. <laughs> um, here's the cup that goes with that David C. Advent calendar. So you see how there's like ornaments and stuff on the tree? None of that is on it until you put the hot water in it. Okay. And then this little person over here. Right here. Uh, is on your side? Yeah. This little... This gingerbread look. person pops up in the pocket. Yeah. A whole bunch of little things change on the cup. I got tea in there right now, but um, their Halloween cups are the same. Like when you pour the hot water, they change. Anyway, it's the same little scene that's on Denise's advent calendar. Kind of cool. Very cool. Siate. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh boy, are they getting light. I got all my Kleenex, which I'm sure you don't want to see. Right there, right in front of you. Okay. So today is 22. Find the beauty in every day. Good advice. Oh, should I open it? Look at my socks. Gray oh. ones. It's pretty, what looks like a matte purple. And that is called Rain Check. Very pretty. Um, I know you guys love the Ciate song, um, but like 24 new nail polishes and some of them that maybe not what I want uh, when I'm trying to limit my collection. I'm not going to do Ciate next year just because I can't keep getting 24 new polishes every year. So just putting it out there. Just let you know. Twenty-two, twenty-two, twenty-two. Right here. Oh, a facial product, excellent. A toner, gentle toner, enriched with shea. Cool. I had just been saying. Yes. Oh, see, Tan, where's the face products? Give me the face stuff. The stack this morning. There's the war torn Lego scene. Oh, wait, hang on. I'm getting down to the nitty gritty of the. The earth is coming out of her, as our oh. friends in Newfoundland would say. A little dog in a dog feeding and watering area. Okay. Nice. Oh, the scene is starting to really come together. There's only a couple holes left. Some snow. Nice. English toffee. Hmm. Very nice. Oh, wait, glare it. There we go. Right there by your... Oh, <laughs> 23 up top. Hold the... Got the same issue as my Lego one does. In this particular. There we go. Okay. <gasps> Whoa! My wipes! You guys! Wow! I had just been talking to you about how, how the Ula Hendrickson uh, cleansing wipes were my favorite, and now I have a travel of those. How many are in there? Ten! Oh, fantastic! That's amazing! Oh, I love this one! You get that one again, baby? Yes! <laughs> I think I see a review coming at the end of this. ASOS. Hey, babe. Yes, I We're will gonna... let you know what I thought of all of them. In detail. Okay. Oh. I will let you know what I thought of all of them. This is Manu Skin Firming Fiji Facial Oil. Firming Fiji Facial Oil. Say that quick five times. Go for it. For dry, sensitive skin. Go babe. for it. Firming Fiji Facial Oil. Firming Fiji Facial Oil. Firming Fiji... Uh, uh, out on the third go. Uh, so yeah, that is very cool. This is the second product from Mono Skin I got. I don't know if both were out of this one. I think the other one might have been under my look fantastic, but I'm going to look that brand up and check it out. So another very successful morning okay, check of me. Advent calendar. Uh, check me oatmeal. Yes, check the oatmeal. Nobody wants burnt oatmeal. Let's have a look. 
Oh, we're boiling. Darn it. Actually, no. It, it isn't. So we got all kinds of excitement here this morning. No, I'm not playing football. I'm just taking some few moments to treat my under eye with the uh, ice so a Sweden stuff or whatever these pads I love them um, and just packing away some things in here Denise bought me this ornament but I was like that is too nice to put on a tree I'm hanging that on my makeup mirror and while all this is happening Pearl has to go out bad and Denise is trying to get her up before she poos on the oh, carpet right behind you, don't move. she pooed She's doing it right now. Oh. so she just pooed right behind me that's you want to talk about a real vlog? This is a real vlog, people. It's not just the pretty parts. Jesus, no, it's normal. Uh, but I wanted to show you that this came in the middle. Don't, I'm still loving that, that nail file from the Siate Advent. Um, I I couldn't resist. I got this Este Edit package with the the two palettes in it. You, the camera isn't picking up how glorious this case is. And I'm sure you've seen this a million times on YouTube, but I'll show you anyway. There's that one. And this is the second one. Just gloriously gorgeous. And there's what's inside of that one. Both of them have really good mirrors. And I pulled the trigger on this, the Tart Tartus Pro Palette. Some gorgeous, gorgeous colors in there. And then I'm gonna, probably going to place one more Sephora order before the no buy of 2017 starts because that Too Faced Kat Von D palette is set to come out on the 25th of December, or sorry, the 26th of December. And I'm hoping that the Peach palette, which I missed the first go around, and they are set to re release, I hope that will release in time as well. Uh, if not, I'll have to miss it because it's a no buy cosmetics for all of 2017. All right, it is 12 noon, and um, the hair is dyed. There's a reason when you have black hair that you pay the 150 bucks to go to the salon. Uh, because the bathroom looks like somebody killed a vampire in there. It's like <laughs> a spray of black everywhere. And even after having done that, like I have a little root touch-up that I use at home. I think I've showed you guys before. It's the nice and easy root touch-up, and it completely covers the black roots. Thanks, baby. Um, it completely covers the black roots and holds you over till your next dye job. But it's just a small amount and I needed to really do my whole head because it has been so long since I had my hair colored. It, th there's a whole bunch of little grays around the edge that didn't catch. I don't know if you can see that in the light, but that didn't dye anyway. So when I get back after the holidays, I have to go and get a proper dye job. However, Mara's Musings, I was, we were, Denise was just reading your comments from yesterday, asking for an honest opinion about the French press. So Denise and I are two different kinds of coffee people. She is like hardcore into coffee. She loves the taste of coffee. She drinks it black. She doesn't have to eat anything with it. Coffee for me in a lot of ways is like what you drink when you're eating something sweet, right? So I don't put sugar in my coffee, but I love eating sweet with it. So now that I'm not eating sugar, um, that is a bit more of a challenge. But I will say this. As compared to like K-Cup, first of all, we stopped using the K-Cups because it is an environmental blight on the planet. Uh, the Nespresso's, all those things where you're throwing something out. So we were still using the our Breville K-Cup machine, but we were putting coffee grinds into the permanent filter. That The taste of that, or drip coffee, compared to the taste of French press, particularly if you do the French press right. If you heat the press, you, you pour it halfway, let the bloom happen, mix in the bloom, pour the rest of the way. It is so much smoother tasting coffee. Incredibly smoother tasting coffee. So that's one thing. It's just, it does taste way better. Secondly, if you are not, if you don't want to be a blight on on the planet you don't want to use those disposable cups and you're putting your own coffee in you f you feel like it's a big scoop that you fill and you fill that whole filter with coffee for one cup in a french press it's one tablespoon and i don't mean like the spoon you eat soup with i mean you take a tablespoon that you would use a measuring spoon for baking you put one 
tablespoon per cup of water and because the water and the grounds are sitting for so long and if you buy your coffee whole bean and just grind it right at the last minute before you make it way better tasting coffee it is however more work because you have to then clean the grinds out of the french press afterwards and wash that all out and but it, I guess it all depends on what's for you. I hope everybody is going to move away from the things that you're throwing in the landfill because that really is disastrous. I've actually heard that they're moving to uh, make those illegal in different places across North America. And I, I kind of hope that works because it amazes me how at a time when we're being more and more overwhelmed by the amount of garbage and where do we put it, more and more disposable items are, are coming onto the market, which just seems so counterintuitive. So, So there you have it. That would be my take on the French press versus um, other forms of coffee. Maybe I don't know if you want to add anything. No, I think... Hello. I think uh, exactly what Candy said, and um, I love the taste of coffee, and uh, we're right now using Christmas blend. I know a couple of people have asked because they couldn't see it in my two days ago vlog. I was floating around in Candy's head, but it's the Christmas blend from Starbucks, and it is... Oh my god, that's my favorite, favorite so far. They have a holiday blend. They have a holiday, but it's Christmas blend this year at the Red Bag. And because uh, each bag is, they color coat the bags for whatever it is. But anyway, it's a Christmas blend at Starbucks. When we did it the way Candy was talking about in the Keurig, using their cup and then the little filter cup, and then that to me, because that's how I was doing, we, we weren't using the throwaway cups because it, the, the, the French press is less work for actually, for what I'm getting, and I'm not wasting the grounds because going through the drip, you're bypassing a lot of the grounds, and with the cost of uh, the Starbucks, good coffee, good coffee in general, um, I don't want to throw it away. I don't want to waste a, a, a drop of it. And I and with the French press, I can make as as much or, or little as I want. And I'm I'm ensuring that I'm using each of the grounds. But taste wise, oh, it's superior. It's worth the effort and the work for me. And I don't mind cleaning out the coffee pot. And uh, we're not wasting anything. So yeah. Yeah. So okay. now it is lunchtime. I think I am going to have some uh, cream of mushroom soup. And we'll watch a little Midsummer Murders. And then Mama Denise just went out to Starbucks to get us our coffee that we're taking home with us. We always take a Christmas blend home because that's coming up very, very quickly. Yes. And uh, I think she has to make a couple more runs out. We're going to cook a brisket yes. so that we can make sandwiches on the road, find bread without sugar, all that. And, uh, yeah, we'll get back to you in a little bit. Oh, did the nails yesterday. Didn't show you yet. Those are pretty cute, are Fantastic. They? Yeah. <laughs> Time to go outside for pee-pee. You see pee-pee night times? Hey, he's a beautiful girl. Yes. Sorry, another day today that we didn't vlog a whole lot. Um, today, though, I did a lot of errands on foot, and it was very, very cold here in Toronto, um, and so I couldn't take the vlog camera with me, or else you'd be all fogged up. <laughs> so I put about um, a little 11,000 steps in just for errands, and. Uh, all around our area so I've been to the post office, Starbucks, uh, the meat shop, the bagel shop, then I went to the wine shop and then the pet shop for dog food, um, to the bank and then back. So uh, very good, very good. Uh, still trying to get keep my outdoor workouts hard right now because of all the snow down and it's all compact and you get icy situations on the sidewalk. So, but it was, uh, I, I love getting all my, as much outdoor activity as I can. Dog's been out for a play many times. Oh my gosh, I had them out at uh, the noon, um, or the afternoon um, break outside. And, uh, and very rarely in the back there where I showed you in the vlog, I think the day before, that um, where I take them for the little park. They haven't been up to Sherwood Park for a couple of days, but they go in the back. Uh, it's too salty for them to walk and they don't wear shoes because I have a hard time getting them to put sweaters on, let alone putting shoes on. So they'll just kick them off anyway. Um, so I take them to the parkette and then today there was a lot of little dogs, usually all the big dogs, people with the big dogs, let them all run off back there and I get nervous because I don't want them to get stepped on. Um, but it was all little dog play today and it was so cute but I didn't bring the vlog camera outside. Um, and it was a fluke thing because you never know when it's going to happen when just the little the puppies are back there playing. So 
that was fun today so they're a little tired and uh, Chopper's not feeling very well we're I'm really really nervous about him uh, probably between Christmas and New Year's or in the new year um, I'm going to get him in and I think yeah he's uh, he's not well so um, he's got a lot of lumps and bumps going on him so uh, we've always feared early early demise for that poor guy but anyway he's got he's on some great pain meds and um, helping him out but he's still eating and playing and doing some things but um, he's you know wanted a little de uh, a bit of a decline so uh, but he's still he's still his quality is still good I want to make sure that's good for him but um, this is like just a slight change for him so um, more lumpy bumpies growing on them um, some of them lipomas which are generally benign but uh, other there's other ones too that I've seen uh, when I worked in the veterinary medicine world and uh, but we'll get them tested out anyway let the vet uh, let a vet around here have a look at them and see what happens but anyway uh, but he's good he's still he's still active he's a trooper and like I said he's on pay meds so, uh, so he's good he's all right to this point so um, yeah, so I'm looking at Pearl down here, waiting for me to take her out. Uh, Chopper's on the floor in our room, and Bruiser's hiding over here, and Mama's here. You want to go out? Yeah. You want to go to little baby toy? Yeah. Oh, camera. Camera shy boy. Yeah. All right. And then when we come back in, we'll say goodnight with Mama Candy, and uh, wait for the Chopper to come out, and we'll catch you again soon. Are you indecent? She's brushing her teeth. They just had their snack. Pearl's guarding the bone. This is what she goes through sometimes. Is they all choose one bone of all the basket of bones. And then she, it's pretty disgusting, isn't it? And then she will guard it and lay it near the boys. Taunt them. Tempt them to take it. And then she teases them with it. So... She's brushing her teeth. So I just came in, had head, and uh, cold outside. It's supposed to be really cold tomorrow. So I've got to get some more snow here in Toronto. So we're uh, figuring out if we're going to still leave on Saturday or Sunday, depending on the weather. Uh, there's some um, some snow and rain and that coming. So we'll figure out. I uh, like I look at all my weather from here all the way through to Point Lenim, New Brunswick. It's a 12 and a half hour drive. And uh, we're going to do it all in one go, but I uh, just want to see what's the best if we're going to leave on the 17th or the 18th. So, wait for her to be done so we can say goodnight. See you, little pig? One of my Zoonies, part of my Zoonie collection. So, yeah. Ba -ba 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 -ba. What else we got? Where's Chopper going? Hey, see the poor little Gimpy. He's on pain meds, but. Off he goes to bed. Poor little boy. What a cutie little bum he is. He goes, goes to bed. And Bruiser's in his little section there. And over here, what's funny is Pearl and... Per Bruiser will not sleep over here with these guys. So usually Pearl sleeps there and Chopper sleeps there. You coming in to say goodnight? She's halfway through her. Once we say goodnight, then I have my shower, and I get to read. Where is she? Where are they? Come here. I'm trying out the feet. <laughs> Where are they? I'm trying it out. Does you hear it? Yeah. So I'm using the wash that they provided. I like my Clarisonic better. But that's because, what you said for travel. Though, but right? this is hard, too hard to get in. See, like, it's not as... I like my Clarisonic better. But thanks for watching today. See you tomorrow.